another video today. Now, um, I'm actually doing a primer wear test. I'm going to be testing out the new Milk Hydro Grip Primer and the Hourglass Mineral Veil. So I'm going to do one on one side, one on the other, and then I'm going to go to work and then see which one works out best. Now, I actually tr already tried the Ole Onrixen new primer. And I'll show you a picture here. <laughs> like, I had such high hopes. I thought it was gonna work and look so good, but unfortunately, it did not. I'll show you in the picture, I'll like zoom in. At the end of the night, it was like breaking up like around my nose, around my mouth. My pores looked humongous. And I was like kind of sad because I like bought it online and I'm so happy with their like banana under eye cream. I was like so stoked for this. I'm like, oh, it's going to work so well. It's going to do the same thing. But like, as you can see, like even on my cheeks and my forehead, it got like it smelled really, really good going on. It had like a creamy texture. It was really, really nice, but it showed everything wrinkles, pores, like it separated all my makeup. It just like it. It looked like a mess at the end of the night. I actually um, tried it out twice and then it did the same thing the next night. So I was like, no. So I actually already took it back because it was like $46. So I did a wear test of it and that was about 12 hours of wearing it. Sorry, my lips are really dry. So I actually took it back and I talked to the lady in the skincare section at Sephora and I was like, I showed her the pictures. I was like, this is what happened. I need a good primer. And she's like, well, how long do you go to work for? I'm like, well, my shift's like 12 hours. Like when I leave to when I come home, it's like 11 to 12 hours. And she's like, oh, that's a long time. And she's like, we haven't heard great reviews of this new primer. And I was like, it's kind of funny because online it's like getting all this like wonderful feedback and everything. And then the person who works there is saying the opposite. She's like, we've had very mixed reviews. Uh, most of it has been not very good. And I'm like, Shouldn't you guys be saying this online then instead of selling it and then people like bringing it back? Like how, I don't know. Personally, I just don't think that's very good and it's bad for the environment because it's all just getting destroyed, all these, you know, packages. So it just seems very silly, I think, to say that and then make a positive review online. It just, I'm confused by it, honestly. So I asked her, I said, I need a primer. Um, that will work well for me. So instead of buying two, because I don't, I don't like waste. I think it's like silly. So I'm like, please give me a couple samples because I don't want to like buy two and then be like, oh, the best one. I'm just going to keep and return the other one. I was like, no, just give me a couple samples so I can see what works and then I'll buy the one that works because it just seems wasteful to me to buy a whole one to like use it twice and then bring it back because I think Honestly, I don't think that's right, and I know that people do that all the time for videos, and I don't think it's right. I think it's terrible for the environment, it's a waste of everybody's time, and no wonder prices go up so high on these companies, it's like a lot of people do that. So, again, so I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, which just came out, and I got the Hourglass Mineral Veil. So, I know I saw this in store, it has like a jelly-like texture to it, which is really cool. So I have high hopes for this because, I, again, this got good reviews. But again, I don't know what that means because you talk to the Sephora people and they're like, yes, it's got a lot of negative feedback. I'm like, well, from who? Because online it's all positive. Like, are you guys just talking amongst each other and then not telling us? Because that's not right. That's that's cheap. Anyway, so it has this like jelly-like texture to it, which I thought is really cool. So this is the Milk Makeup one. And then apparently this is like the next best one, which she said. And... So this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil. So I'm hoping that these do not clog up my pores. So I'm going to put the Hourglass on this side and the Milk on this side. So we're going to see. They both have no smell. This one smells a titch like aloe vera. <laughs> Maybe it's just because it looks like aloe vera. I'm just thinking that it smells like that. Okay, yeah, I think it's just in my head. So I'm going to put this one on. Oh, it's like really cooling. Oh, that feels so nice. I feel like this would be real. I keep thinking this is aloe vera. I'm like, this would be great in the summer after you have like a sunburn. <laughs> it's not aloe vera chalice. It looks like it, but it's not. Oh, this feels so good. Okay. It's really moisturizing. I do always get wrinkles like around my eyebrow. I don't know if anybody else gets that, but my makeup collects like where I go like 
And I don't even frown. I swear I don't frown <laughs> all that often. But I get like wrinkles like right there. So that's how it looks. It's super hydrating. Oh my goodness, as a cooling effect. Let's zoom you in here. Ooh, I don't know if you can really see anything. So as you can see, it kind of has that shimmer. It's, it is sticky, which I don't know if that'll like dry down, but it has, as you can see on either side, this one has like a little bit of shine on it. All right, but yeah, I wonder if that sticky, <laughs> stickiness will go, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's try the other side. So this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil. Already, I already checked that. Oh, it's all so sticky on my hand. Thanks. Okay. This just kind of feels like a moisturizer. I feel like it has like a blue tinge to it. Oh, it does. That is cool. It has like a blue undertone. Whoa, that is really blue. <laughs> but I feel like with a blue and a purple, it gives you like that brightening effect. I hope one side of my face isn't like super bright and the other one's like dull. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Oh, this one feels super nice. Totally tall. Oh no, I just rubbed off half my eyebrow. <laughs> Can you see the difference? Like this one looks way lighter than this side. Like it's, wow. It's like kind of like has like a blurring effect a little bit. Like definitely like I feel it looks matte compared to the other side, which is like shiny. But apparently these are like the top rated primers at Sephora by maybe just Sephora Canada, but wow, it looks really cool. It feels really hydrated. Like, I feel like it looks brighter. It feels definitely, is the side still, st it's still sticky. Why is that still sticky? What the heck, milk? Like, is that, should I just wait longer? Yeah, I'm gonna, I think it says you have to wait 30 seconds for it to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna wait for that to dry. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll do a check-in. We'll see what time it is and then we'll see how everything goes. I did my eyes and eyebrow, <laughs> eyes and eyebrow, but I kind of wiped half of it off putting this one on. Oh, it feels like a baby's butt. Oh. <laughs> now that I've had my face for an hour, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some foundation and then finish up the rest of my face and I will be back. Okay, so I have the hourglass side and milk. Now I'm gonna show you. As you can see, you can still see on the milk side my pores and on the hourglass side, it's like so smooth. On my nose, you can tell, but you can just see more pores, even like right here. It's just like so much more. I'm gonna go down here. It looks so smooth on this side. I will tell you it was kind of odd that blending on the hourglass side was a lot harder than blending on the milk side with my like bronzer and stuff but it wasn't like too terrible but I, I, have, I hope I hope that this is so good it literally looks flawless like I don't it it's like I don't even see any pores on this side. It looks so good. This side was still like, it took a long time for this to dry, like I'm gonna be honest. But I'm gonna, like it was looking really, really good right now. Both sides are looking good. Our left side is just way better at smoothing out pores than this side. Like, there's just so much pores. Like, <laughs> try and get in again. There we go, that's better. Do you see the pores on that side? And then look at the hourglass side. It's like nothing. Way more pores on the milk side. All right. <laughs> now that you saw way up close with my skin, it's actually, it is four o'clock. Um, I put this on at probably like 3.30. Um, so I'm gonna go to work because I gotta get changed right now and I actually really have to go because I start in an hour <laughs> and I'm like a 45 minute drive away from work. Um, and then I'm gonna come back and do a check-in. I'm gonna try and do a check-in on my break and see how it's going, but I am like blown away by this hourglass. I'm I'm so glad I didn't buy a full size of both because what a waste. But I'm, I'm like, I even got my husband to like, I was like, feel my face, feel my face. And he was just like, that is so soft. He was just like petting it. And I was like, that's what I did for like three minutes. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna see how this goes. All right, bye. Ooh. 1.30 in the morning, yikes. Um, so I kind of put this on at 3.30. We did a start check-in time at four. 
So these primers have been on for 10 hours right now. That's crazy. <laughs> and so I did an actual like update on when I went for a break. This is the updated picture. Now, as you can see, I have like, it's starting to separate around my chin, which most of the time I'm trying to figure out a way to get that to not happen because it happens with all foundations. Um, cause I talk a lot when I work and I smile and I laugh and everything. And so this starts to separate. I need to figure out a way for this to not do that. But honestly, hourglass side is looking really, really good. It's looking very flawless. Um, and the milk side is not looking so good. Like the pores, especially on the six hour mark. So this is six hours right here. Um, the pores are starting to look like really, really enlarged and deep like it looks more hydrated high it looks more hydrated on that side because i felt like it had because i felt like it had like that sticky kind of like moisture moisturizer or something that it had but like i don't feel like it really primed and pore filled like my face like i don't i feel like it moisturized but it didn't it didn't do a good job in like kind of vanishing the wrinkles and the lines and like where I do get like the separation of the makeup it looks more exaggerated on this side now the hourglass side like I'm still getting separation where I usually get it but like on my cheeks and like my nose and things like that it's looking and my forehead it's looking like very blurred. I'm gonna like come in there and zoom in. As you can see like right here where the milk is, where the milk primer is, it's just like the pores are so much more enlarged on this side than the hourglass side. And even on my chin, I know it doesn't look very good. My smile lines like right here as you can see are more like enlarged as it is to the hourglass side now don't get me wrong I have separation like I do on either side I just feel like it's worse on this side than it is on the hourglass side and then I'll try and do my forehead my forehead is quite similar on either side I still feel like with like the like wrinkles here are worse on the hour or on the milk makeup side than the hourglass side as you can see there and my nose is just like kind of like a grease ball right now <laughs> I think this is a really really great primer I'm definitely gonna pick it up for $63 you get one full ounce which is very very normal I feel like that's very expensive but for like 10 hours and it still looks really good like it it doesn't feel like it's like falling off my face like I I feel very it feels like really really comfortable so I'm definitely gonna get I definitely gonna get it I think it looks really really cool yes that is the end of my video um, I just want to let you know I upload every Sunday and Wednesday at um, 10 a.m. I don't know why I had to think about that for a second it's very very late thanks for um, watching this video and I do lots of wear tests I love pushing makeup to the limit and to really get your money's worth out of what you buy and I feel like it's a good thing to do. Like we need to push makeup because if we're spending our hard earned money on it, it needs to do what it claims. So I am here to test that out. So I'm really excited about these wear tests. I'm having a lot of fun doing them. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video and I hope you have a good one. Bye.